off a day and happy Monday. My name is Chelsea Cruz bringing you this week's community calendar. To start us off, Save Southern Guam Inc. is hosting a Wave to Save Paco Bay on Wednesday, August 17th from 4.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. Their objective is to continue to raise awareness on the recent Guam Land Use Commission's decision to allow the construction of a Paco Bay Marina Resort high-rise hotel. SSG, along with several residents from Orta Chalampago, Jonya, and other villages, have filed a petition regarding the direct impacts this project will have on the island's infrastructure and quality of life. On Wednesday as well, Guam's Alternative Lifestyle Association, also known as GALA, will be hosting an LGBTQI support group at their office at 6 p.m. GALA's mission is to strengthen the quality of life for gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgendered persons and their families and friends while upholding a society that embraces social diversity through love and respect for all. For more information about the support group meeting, you can contact Evan at 969-5483. Last but not least, Taiguini Books is going to host a reading of their two latest children's books, Guayda Donna Troncun Manzanita, The Lovable Manzanita Tree, and Si Pedro Zanihile Oru na Coco, Pedro and the Golden Coco, capture the, the joys of childhood on Guam. Both stories convey the importance of family and the many adventures children on Guam can experience while playing outside. The event will feature a special presentation of the books by their authors and illustrators, followed by art activities and games for the whole family to enjoy. This is all happening this Saturday, August 20th at UOG's RFK Library from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. And that wraps up this week's commu community calendar. If you would like a feature on the Monday community calendar, send us your events at news at k57.com. See you all again in a bit.